hello everybody and welcome in. It's Larry's Country Diner. We're glad you're here. We're going to have a good time today. Right now, I want you to meet the man who runs the place. Uh -huh. He runs everything. He what? loves to drive fast. He thinks a speed limit sign is merely a suggestion. That's right. Here's Larry. I, in Rochester, New York, there was a, a thing that was uh, 90 going around the city. Mm -hmm. Not 90 miles an hour, but that was, and a cop pulled an, an older woman over and uh, gave her a ticket for speeding. She's, he, he said, what are you doing? She said, well, it says, it says not, uh, 45 over there. Mm -hmm. And he said, boy, I'm glad I got you before you got to 90. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, oh, promise. Right here. Shot. Right here. This is the promise. Luke 21, <laughs> 33. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. And there's this one, Joshua 3, 7. I am with you always as I was with Moses. Thank you. Didn't mean to throw the promise away, but... That's, a good That's it. I'm going to mix them all up. And then as I said the other day, we're going to start doing some Stephanisms. Oh, yeah. Here is from Jim Stephanie. Oh, incidentally, Jim Stephanie was, we have breakfast, Ray Stevens, Buddy Kalb, um, Ralph Emery. You name dropper. I know. <laughs> the million dollar breakfast right here. Uh, Bergen White. A bunch of guys that are in the music business. And, uh, Don Cusick, don't leave out Don. If That's right, don't leave him out. Leave him out. Uh, John, I said John Stephanie, Jim Stephanie. Yes, Jim Stephanie. Started sending me things. He was, for 20 years, he was the road guy uh, and bass player for Bobby Goldsboro. So, I mean, they, always, they all have good musical credentials, but he's got the weirdest sense of humor. And he sends me these things, and I said, I'm going to start doing Stephanisms. And uh, why, do, why do toasters always have a setting that burns the toast to a horrible crisp when no decent human being would eat? I eat crisp toast. So that's for me. You're not a decent now you know. I'm not a decent human being. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> And that's from the fields of Tartar. Yeah. <laughs> if a deaf person has to go to court, is it still called a hearing? Ooh. Ah, that's something to think that about. That reminds me of the guy that goes to a healing service, and uh, the preacher says, what do you want me to pray for? And he says, pray for my hearing. So the pastor mm, prays for his hearing, and he said, How's your hearing? And he said, I don't know. It comes up in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are delighted today in the diner to have a um, guitarist. Mur Muriel, would they call you a guitarist or a writer? Or what? A singer? A, a musician, I Music would say. <laughs> Cover all so the I, do, I yeah. do a bunch of different things in addition to playing this crazy harp guitar. Yes. Joe Case, our floor director here, he said, let her know that I have a woodworking shop. And <laughs> he said, it looks like that one got melted somewhere. <laughs> 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 yeah, it needs a, a little uh, repair on this. That's the guitar with appendage. a few extra chromosomes, I think. Yeah. <laughs> now, did you make that, have that guitar made? Uh, I asked for this guitar to be made. I was just writing and arranging tunes that were requiring extra low bass strings. And I had wow. seen pictures of them. They were made between 1890 and 1920 um, in America. And uh, so I, I went out to get you know, a, a copy of a vintage one, and I found out that it was so big that I couldn't lift it and play it the same day. You know, and it, it was <laughs> big and heavy and uh, wouldn't fit anywhere. So I asked for this to be made so it would fit in the overhead bin of an airplane. Oh. And so it's extra small, and that means that the, uh, the regular guitar part in the middle uh, is tuned up a whole step, so it's a little higher pitch. And so what started out just being a practical thing so I could learn to play it ended up being a whole new sound. Yeah. 
And then I had these extra trebles oh. added, and they're a steel string, whereas these are nylon strings. So it's one of the few instruments that has both steel and nylon on the same instrument. Is there a name for that? Uh, well, uh, it's just one of many types of harp guitars. Harp so, guitar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give us a sampling of that? Okay, I'll play a little. Let's, what's the first song you're going to do? I'll play Vincent. By oh, Vincent, ooh. Yes, that. yes. I learned this from Chet Atkins. And uh, when Chet plays it, though, he sounds like a country gentleman. And when I play it, I sound kind of like a hopeless romantic. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is my, my take on it. Starry, starry night Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know the darkness in my soul Shadows on the hills Sketch the trees and daffodils Catch the breeze the winter chill in colors on the snowy linen land Now I understand What you tried to say to me How you suffered for your sanity And how you tried to set them free They would not listen, they did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now for they could not love you Still your love was true But when no hope was left in sight On one starry, starry night You took your life as lovers often do But I could have told you, Vincent This world was never meant for one as beautiful as you That's incredible, Muriel. Woo! Did it take you a long time to learn to play that? Well, I'm still in the process. I figured oh, yeah. I always will be. <laughs> There's always more that you can do with it, you know. Wow. And and I don't always play all the strings. Uh, so it's an interesting instrument where uh, sometimes I'll just play the middle part, and then sometimes just the the sub basses, and it gives me a bigger variety. Because if I played everything all the time, then it would just sound all the same, you know. Right. Yeah. Another arm would come in handy. Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> this, I have this, explain this to me again. Oh, that, uh, Vincent as an instrumental is on that CD. It's a CD and a greeting card because we uh, saw the solar eclipse in Nashville. That's actually a picture from the Capitol building where we were watching it. And Brian took some wonderful pictures. And so I thought, well, we'll just share this. And uh, I had my harp guitar just to kind of pass the time. 
so people started requesting, oh, play Moon Dance, play Moon Shadow, play Starry Starry right. Night. And so I became the accompaniment kind of for this event for the people sitting there. And so I put together a CD of all those tunes and a greeting card so you can just uh, send it to someone else. And where can they get else. this eclipse? Well, easiest way is on my website, murielanderson.com. Thanks for being here and sharing with us. More to come. Welcome back to Larry's Country Diner, the only show on television that comes with this warning. Nadine's on the way. There's Larry. <laughs> and that's a valuable warning. Yes, it, it, here she comes. Because there she is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ooh. Nadine. How, How you doing, lady? How you doing? Who Who's that? doing the wolf whistles? Who was that? I want to pay him. Okay. Who was it? Nobody's holding <laughs> up to it. How y'all? Good. Hi, How you Mary. Been? I'm good. You see Muriel over Man, there? Man, you know, I was listening at the door. That's good. I like that sound. Y'all want to know some trivia about her? Sure. Yeah, let's hear Did it. Did you know she had an album? It's called Heartstrings, mm -hmm. and it went on uh, the astro It went with the astronauts in '98 to keep them stress free. Wow. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's the most mileage I ever got out of an album. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. That's good, Muriel. Yeah. Very good. That's good. I like that. I got another piece, too. What? Her, her granddaddy was in the John Philip Sousa band. Oh, my goodness. So there is some talent in that family. What did he play? Did he play a sousaphone? He played saxophone. Saxophone in the yeah. John Philip Sousa. Yeah. I remember being in high school band and playing all the marches. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. They didn't, did they have saxophones back then? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> hoo -wee. I don't know if I need this or not. You know, I need to lose some weight. But I just, you know, I'm just worried about getting caught up in them eat right and exercise scam things. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be careful. I don't want to do that. You know, I, I was watching TV the other day, and they said that a serving of chips is 10 chips. Now, I stand at the pantry with an open bag of chips, and I eat 10 just trying to decide if I want chips. That's right. I, and these people that say, you know, skinny people make me mad, Renee. <laughs> I just want to tell you. They, they say, well, you know, I just forgot to eat. How do you forget to eat? How do you do that? I mean, I have forgotten my mama's maiden name. <laughs> I have forgotten my car keys, but I ain't never forgotten to eat. No. <laughs> Speaking of chips, a while ago, they said, you know, all these Americans might need to be microchipped. I told Homer, I said, honey, let me tell you something right now. There ain't no chip going in my body that doesn't have salsa on it. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Mm -mm. I read in this recent study... I do have a brain. <laughs> I read in this recent study that women that carry a little extra weight live longer than the men that mention it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Have you ever met the human version of a headache? Don't, Larry, I know what's going through your mind. Don't say it. I didn't. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> Homer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I want one of them albums just to deal with Homer's family. That's why I want to get one of those. Um, but my sister-in-law, Lois, she is a headache. version of a human headache. She called me yesterday. Can you take me to the doctor right now? Clyde's not home. I said, what's wrong with you? She said, well, I'm seeing flashes of light. And I called my doctor and he said, get in here. Cause, well, the secretary told her, said, you better get in here because you could have a detached rectum. I said, <laughs> I said, I don't think that's what she said. But if she did, maybe we need to go to the ER. <laughs> I tell you, oh. I deal with this every day. Lou Ann's shaking her head no because I'm trying to think. Who That's one thing that Larry hasn't had yet. <laughs> okay, I'm going over and put a sign up. <laughs> What's the sign going to say? <laughs> Don't take criticism from people you would never take advice from. 
Oh, that's oh, good. Oh, that's good. It is good, isn't it? I like that. Speaking of that, it one leads of into this. Muriel recalls, I was at Chet Atkins' office one day when he picked up his fiddle and played a couple of old-time hoedowns. I told him I've always wanted to play fiddle just like that. He put the fiddle in my hands, showed me how to hold the bow, and he said, I'll give you lessons. So every week I went to Chet's office and got a fiddle lesson. I worked at the tunes, and although they were pretty squeaky, I thought I was making progress. My fourth lace lesson, he said, that's terrible. That's true. Thanks, Chet Atkins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I said, well, it's better than it was last week, isn't it? And he said, yeah, but that doesn't mean it's not still terrible. <laughs> so now you've got four strings on a fiddle. Yeah. And you can't play it, but you can handle three dozen. Yeah, right? I don't know. It's just kind of these running jokes on what a bad fiddle student I am. And uh, people kind of go running when I take out my fiddle. I love it, though, you know, and to, but... Uh, so I've gone to playing, uh, you know, fiddle tunes on the guitar then, and uh, in fact, I played with a bluegrass band for, for six years, and so I, I gradually started to say, well, can I make some banjo sounds, maybe a little old-time, you know, claw hammer or something, maybe I can get all the instruments going, Start, starting maybe like this. There's that claw hammer. She's the first woman to have won the National Finger Style Guitar Championship. Yeah, a while right. back. 1989. Yeah. Wow. I was a mere child then. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little bass solo. Well, no, no bluegrass band would be complete without That's a bass right, solo. That's right, you know. Yeah. Welcome back to Larry's Country Dino. Did you see the special today? No. Oh, we got a good special. It's the Guitar Boogie Pork Chop from Mural Anderson's own kitchen. Got it with fries. It's so good, it'll pop your string on your guitar. I'm telling you, it's good stuff. There's Larry. <laughs> I've noticed, Muriel, how, how often do you have to tune that? 
Uh, about every tune, yeah. It's, Is that right? <laughs> you got all of the strings have to coordinate in some fashion, right? Uh, yeah, well, uh, different to, uh, different strings for different tunes. Yeah. yeah. So, different strings for different tunes. You need tunes. like one of those Earl Scruggs <laughs> tuners, you know, like uh, he had on the band. Yeah, you? I had one actually equipped with a, a Scruggs tuner. I, I put it on there. But then instead of having uh, that, I just added an extra string. So I have uh, seven extra bass strings instead of the usual six. Why wow. make it simple? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I thought I would play something from uh, uh, more related to the new project, the sailing project, and I call this one Two Shores. Uh, actually, the one I just played, um, the bluegrass medley is on that, on the wake-up side, of course. No, <laughs> not the go-to-sleep side. Have that. Yes. Uh, so this is Two Shores.
Mm. Wow. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. MurielAnderson.com. That's it. For the albums, mm -hmm. for what else is on yeah, there? Yeah, and then there's a, a tab called Now, N-O-W, and that tells you all the new things that are happening, and I have some live streams coming up, uh, a new release, um, and uh, and fun things. Uh, sometimes we'll give away some fudge. <laughs> and uh, food is always a, a, a big part of, uh, you know, what I my life and what I do in my yes. music. And so uh, we'll, we'll usually have a recipe or two there. You've got and the Acoustic Chef. Acoustic Chef book also, yes. Yeah. We'll so, do that and we'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, and that's... Um, Delicious recipes and music from around the world. That's right. So you have to have music to go with each recipe. You know, you have to have music to cook by, right? Oh. Yes. So that's absolutely the truth. We'll talk about that in a minute. Give us a break. Oh, what? Get you know, us out just, of here. I was just looking at her guitar. I could be a rich man if I sold her strings, you know what? I'll be back right after this. <laughs>
Muriel Anderson. Thank you, Muriel. Thank Appreciate you, Mary. It. Get us out of here. Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling and we don't, we don't care. care. Very good. <laughs> now check out Larry's Country Diner YouTube page. Subscribe for free.